Hello students, welcome to Engineering Assignments. In Engineering Assignments, next we are going to study Lithosphere in Disaster Management. The Earth has four concentric zones. The innermost zone is called as inner core and consists of solid mass of iron and has a radius of about 1216 kilometers. Covering the inner core is the outer core. This is a layer of molten liquid containing nickel and iron. It is about 2270 km thick. Outer layer is covered by solid mantle which is about 2900 km thick. And the solid mantle is being divided into two, the upper mantle and the lower mantle. This mantle exists in a semi-solid state. Where we stand is actually the crust and the mantle exists in a semi-solid state. The outer hardened exterior zone is known as crust. The crust varies in thickness from 5 km to 50 km. The crust is the topmost layer of the earth and it is being divided into two that is oceanic crust and continental crust. Oceanic crust consists of oceans and deep valley below the ocean floor while continental crust consists of mountain ranges and huge plains. Both this crust and mantle are hard and brittle and this is lithosphere. So lithosphere is the outer layer of the earth that includes the crust and the solid part of the mantle. Lithosphere interacts with the atmosphere, hydrosphere and biosphere forming pedosphere. Or we can say that the upper part of the lithosphere chemically reacts with atmosphere, hydrosphere and biosphere through soil forming process which is called as pedosphere. Soil formation basically happens because of weathering, soil erosion etc. Pedosphere has both biotic that is living and abiotic non-living components. Now the types of lithosphere. Lithosphere is divided into two. One is oceanic lithosphere. Second one is continental lithosphere. Oceanic lithosphere is also called as sima because it is rich in magnesium silicate. Oceanic lithosphere is associated with oceanic crust and exists in the ocean basins. It is about 5 km to 8 km thick and composed of basalt. Thicker but denser than the continental lithosphere and has high density. Basically, igneous rocks are found at the oceanic lithosphere. Next is continental lithosphere. Continental lithosphere, we call it as CL because it consists of aluminium silicate. It is about 30 to 40 km thick and associated with the continental crust. It is thicker but less denser than the oceanic lithosphere. It is composed of granite and has less density. Most of the types of the rocks are found in the continental lithosphere that is igneous rock, metamorphic rock, sedimentary rocks. Now the earth lithosphere has seven major plates which includes Africa, Antarctica, Australia, Eurasia, North America, South America, Pacifica and also number of minor ones like Adria, Arabia, Caribbean, Nazca, Philippines etc. These plates are composed of oceanic and continental lithosphere. They move independently over the mantle relative to one another below the outer rigid lithosphere. This area is known as asthenosphere which is about 100 km to 200 km thick and they move with that restricted independence from the seven larger plates. Mandel has high density and it is basically liquid in form. So the crust which is in solid form and it has lower density so it floats over the mandel. Therefore the plates periodically reorganize themselves with new plate boundaries being formed while certain other closing up. In addition to these movements the plate also change in shape. There is three types of motions. One is they are moving apart, they are creating divergent boundaries, gliding horizontally along each other, thereby creating wrench and transform boundaries. Next, 
moving towards one another and creating convergent boundaries so due to the plate movement we have three types of boundary arising that is sliding towards each other we have subduction zones sliding away we have ridge axis and sliding along transform falls next is composition of the lithosphere composition of the lithosphere will be dealt in my next video thank you students thank you for watching my video